Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, Today we're going to talk about exchange rate determination. Now before we dive into it, I want you to think about the market of an apple or the market of oranges. And the price of an apple can change because of a shift in the demand curve or in the supply curve or both. Now, exchange rate determination has no difference. We are going to treat the foreign currency as a commodity, just like an apple or an orange. And the price of this commodity in our example is the British pound. The price of the pound can change because of a shift in the demand for the pound, the supply of the pound. So the price of this British pound can change in terms of the dollar. So suppose our original demand and supply curve of British pound is D1 and S. So we can see the equilibrium price of one pound in terms of the dollar is $2, meaning it takes $2 to buy one British pound. Now suppose there's an increase in the demand for the British pound. So that will shift our demand curve for the pound to the right. And therefore, the price of the pound has increased from $2 per pound to $2.50 per pound. So we can say, hey, the British pound has become more expensive, or we can say that, hey, the pound has appreciated against the dollar. Now it costs more dollars to buy one British pound. So the pound has appreciated, or we can say the dollar has depreciated against a pound, because now it costs more dollars to buy one pound. Now if the opposite has occurred, if the demand for a pound has shifted to the left from D1 to D3, then we can see the new equilibrium price of the pound has gone down from $2 to $1.50. So we can see the price of the pound has gone down, and therefore we say the pound has depreciated or you can say the dollar has appreciated against the British pound. Now, I want you to remember that demand for the pound is a derived demand, meaning the reason why you want to buy British pound is that you have some purpose for the pound. Maybe you want to invest in a British firm, or maybe you want to travel at the UK, or maybe you want to study there. We call that a derived demand. And, uh, so where does the supply of pound come from? Well, the reason why they are, um, say, British people, they are willing to sell your British pound and um, in return they get a dollar, is that they need a dollar for some reason. Maybe they want to travel in the United States. Maybe they want to study in the United States. And uh, perhaps they want to invest in the firms in the United States. And therefore, supply of pound actually comes from the demand for a dollar. And uh, um, next time, we're going to talk about what are the reasons we have shift of demand and supply curve of this British pound. I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.